Shut your eyes. The dark, you need not fear. I will, but Grandpa... You said you'd read to me tonight, remember? Oh, yes. You're quite right. Quite right. Why don't you bring something over here? Well, if it was day, I could leave to play, so long as I didn't leave the farm. But Grandpa says it's much too dangerous to leave at night. Lots of tales. Goosey tales. Tales from the Upper Palatinate. Children's and household tales. Grandpa bought all of these for me from the village, but I know them all by heart. I've read these ones so many times, though. Surely there's something else. No, not right now. Grandpa's waiting for me to find a book. Oh, what's that one back there? I don't think I've seen it before. Uh, I found a book, but I don't think I can reach it. Do you think you could get it down for me? Oh, you don't mean... Well, I don't know about that one. I know. Why don't we just read one of the fairy tales you love so much? We've read them over and over, though. We haven't read this one before. Oh, Hannah. I'm really not so sure. This one is about someone who... Well, not all stories should be heard by young ones. But, Grandpa, I'm not such a little kid anymore, you know. I can't read kids' stories forever. <sighs> You're quite right. Quite right. But let me tell you something first. You must know... These stories, they're about scary kinds of people. People who are evil, who will trick and deceive you. These are why, why we stay safe on our farm, you see? Oh, but, but, that time I broke your music machine. I lied about it, remember? I tried to trick you, so, was that evil? Oh, no, 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 of course not. We are good people, Anna. We just make mistakes. Well, some people we think are bad might just be making mistakes then. <sighs> Anna, sweet thing. That's enough of that kind of talk. So long as we never leave our farm, we don't need to worry, all right? All right. If you say so, Grandpa. Come on now. Hop into bed and I'll get the book for you. Right then. Who rides so late where winds blow wild? It is the father, clutching his child. He holds the girl tight in his arms. He clasps her safely. He keeps her warm. My girl, why cover your face in fear? Oh, don't you see the devil near? The devil with his eyes that fright. My girl, tis only a mist of white. Sweet lass, oh come and join me do. Such clever games I'll play with you. Uh, Anna? Psst, Anna. Anna, please wake up! This isn't happening! It's not happening! Um, hello there. How are you? Yes. I, Anna. I'm fine, but... Hmm. Okay. Uh, my name is Anna. Pleased to meet you. Um, Anna? Just wait, Ben. I'm trying to talk to the ghost. Oh, <laughs> silly me. You were talking to... Wait, what? To the ghost? I'm trying to. I'm not sure, but I think you can't talk, can you? Hmm, I see. Okay, well, I... I'm sorry to summon you like this, miss. It's just, I was kidnapped, you see, by the witch. I think you probably know her. 
Yes, um, the thing is, I need your help with something. A spell. Wait! Don't go! Rats. I hope she hasn't gone too far away. Ah! Ah, there you are! Oh, oh dear. You must be the girl he was talking about. Yorinda. I... I don't know how to tell you. Well, I think... Yoringel came here for you. He wanted to find you. He called you his, uh... His lost nightingale. Or something or other. Right before he, uh... Ran off. Um... I... I don't mean to bother you, miss, but... Well... I really need your help with something. And there she goes again. Poor girl. What did the witch put her through? Ah! Jeez, you just keep popping up everywhere, don't you? Wait, did you... You came here to help me? Thank you, Yorinda. It means a lot to me. Yorinda. Yorinda. Is that you? Yorinda! My precious Nightingale, it is you! At last, I found you! Oh, thank the kingdom. I found you, Yorinde. Now that we're together once again, no one can bother us. Oh, my! Yorinde! Your... Yorinde? W what did I do? Um... Hello again? I'm sorry, Yoringo. I didn't mean to make her upset with you. Oh, huh. The girl. Uh, I'm sorry, Yorinde. I wanted to help her. Uh, really, I did. I just... I was just so excited to see you after all these years. Please, forgive me, my love. Let's do this together. Love is so sweet. Thank you, Yorinda, and Yoringo. I'll finish this spell, just you see. Then I'll make my escape for all of us. You Anna. You want to come with me? I'm escaping. I'm not sure he knows what to do with himself now. All right, come on then. Don't worry. You're safe with me now. You, Anna. Hmm. Well, it does say it's non-toxic. All right, little fella, you hungry? Some, uh, yummy paraffin? Whoa, he really gobbled that up. I think he's ready to start blowing out fire somewhere. So cute. Your time to shine, little guy. Excellent work, little guy. Oh, it 
it's really shiny now. I think it worked. Well, for my sake, I hope it did. Guess I might have to find out soon enough. The amulet has been formed. My words have been heeded. You've done well, dear Anna, and you've indeed succeeded. Are you going to be okay down here? I wish I didn't have to leave you. Please worry not for me, for this is my home. I'm worried for you out there, all alone. I'll be alright. I have to be. I have to. For Grandpa. Then waste not. Go forth and continue your quest. I wish you good luck and all of the best. Thank you again, Mirror. I won't forget you. All right, time to tell Ben and get out of this place. So beautiful and bright and shiny. There's no need to do any Okay, that's everything, Ben. I have it all prepared now. Ben? What's wrong? <coughs> ben? Wait, what happened to the hole? And the handkerchiefs? <gasps> no! It... it can't be. Evening, Anna. But how did you... Quite the fun-filled evening you've had yourself here, hmm? I think it's about time we put an end to all this nonsense, though. Don't you? No. I've come so close. I'm not quitting now. I have to escape. Escape? Ha! Huh. Foolish child. Do you have any idea how long I've planned for this? Did you really think you would escape me? Hmm? Where did you just come from? I just walked through the tower. You weren't anywhere. Ha! Huh. Foolish child. It's witchcraft. I wouldn't expect you to understand. She's lying. She climbed down through the roof, Anna. I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. Ben? Uh, nope, not Ben. You wretched little runt. You deceived me? You leave him alone. Haven't you done enough already? Oh, I've had enough of this. Of both of you. <gasps> I'm going to enjoy this. Now, hold still, children. This will only take a moment. Oh, spirits of the dead. Oh, ghouls of misfortune. Anna, I'm scared. It's okay, Ben. You don't have to worry. Rise from thy slumber. Disable those impugn. I'm here, Ben. I'll protect us. I can't. I can't seem to focus properly. It's like there's some kind of protection around her. A protection spell? It can't be. How could you? Are we still alive, Anna? I don't want to look. I don't know how you did that, child, but it won't last forever. I'll break it down, eventually. That's it! I just have to wait for the right moment to try.
And so, with the witch's plan thwarted, the girl and the bear finally made their escape. Running deep into the woods, her goal now in sight, Anna knew just the place they would need to seek next. The town of Wunderhorn, as the mirror described, lay in wait for the pair to make their arrival. But the journey would be long. The quest had just begun, and their run-in with evil would not be their last.